Hi, Timothy Carlson here, and it's always good to see Shout Factory giving some love to movies that might already be out on home video but didn't initially get a 4K Ultra High Def release. One of the latest examples of this, which has just hit 4K courtesy of Shout, is Death Wish. This being the 2018 remake of the classic 1974 film that starred Charles Bronson. I'm going to unbox this release, and I will share my opinion. Nice cover right there. How far would you go to protect your family? No reversible art on here, unfortunately. Inside we have the 4K disc, which has the movie and a commentary track, as well as a Blu-ray copy of the film that also has several other featurettes. I'll read the description of the film as follows. Dr. Paul Kersey is a surgeon who sees only the aftermath of his city's violence as it's rushed to his ER until his wife and college-aged daughter are viciously attacked in their suburban home. With the police overloaded with crimes, Paul, burning for revenge, hunts for his family's assailants to deliver justice. As the anonymous slings of criminals grab the media's attention, the city wonders if this deadly avenger is a guardian angel or a grim reaper. It's no secret I'm a fan of the older Death Wish films that starred Charles Bronson, even if the sequels do get a little ridiculous and certainly declining quality. A lot of them, of course, were put out by Canon Films, who was infamous for low-budget exploitative productions. There was rumors of a Death Wish movie for many years that supposedly was going to be made and star Sylvester Stallone, but that never got off the ground. And after some delays, we finally got the remake in 2018, of course, starring... Bruce Willis, but also including a supporting cast that has his wife portrayed by Elizabeth Shue and his brother portrayed by Vincent D'Onofrio. Stories about vigilante justice are nothing new. And of course, it really gets the public thinking. I mean, should people have a right to defend themselves with guns? Should they take the law into their own hands? Should this be left up to the police? I'm certainly not going to get into that debate in this review because that's not what this is about. But all things considered, in a world where remakes are cash-ins that are dime a dozen. I'm happy to say the remake of Death Wish is actually pretty solid, and it's really a shame that audiences and critics didn't really give this one much of a chance, because it is better than you would think. Eli Roth is certainly an odd choice for director, given that he's best known for horror movies and torture porn, but fortunately, the movie very rarely goes in that direction, and for the most part, it does play it pretty straight. I mean, we get to see what people think of Paul Kersey, when he goes out and becomes this so-called Grim Reaper, taking the lives of criminals. One major difference between this and the older Death Wish films is the character played by Charles Bronson in those movies actually had gun experience in his youth. His father died in a hunting accident, and he was a conscientious objector in the Korean War. However, he did have some experience with guns in his youth, so the Paul Kersey played by Bruce Willis, on the other hand, has never owned or fired a gun in his life. And his inexperience actually makes for some of the movie's most interesting scenes. I mean, even 50 years later, still seeing criminals who feed on the weak and try to rob them, injure them, rape them, take their lives, seeing them get their comeuppance remains a lot of fun. And I'm happy to see that that's at least true even all these years later. Bruce Willis is a great actor. I am somewhat questionable about him playing the lead in this movie because he's supposed to be an everyman who's never fired a gun before, and yet Bruce Willis made his bread and butter on being an action star, Die Hard probably being his most famous film in which he portrayed John McClane. That said, however, despite its flaws, this remake of Death Wish is certainly better than people made it out to be. I would probably say even that this was the second best Death Wish film of all time after the original from 1974 that starred Charles Bronson and was directed by Michael Winner. And again, certainly not a perfect film, certainly not art house cinema, but I did enjoy this one more than I thought I would, and I do think it deserves a second look. Again, Death Wish did not get a 4K Ultra High Def release. It only was released on Blu-ray for the initial home video release. I believe there was an import version available on 4K, but it was actually one of the very few region-locked 4Ks out there, so I didn't bother importing it. And I'm glad I waited for Shout's release, because I'm happy to say this is a beautiful-looking disc. This transfer is pretty much flawless. You've got bright, beautiful colors when they're needed, be it grass out in a rural area, or the gritty, mean streets of Chicago, or you have those deep, dark, black levels of dark alleys. Whatever the scene may call for, it looks absolutely gorgeous on this release. 
I am happy to see that Shout certainly gave this one the treatment it deserves. We do get a commentary track that's on both the ultra high def disc and the Blu-ray disc, but the Blu-ray itself actually has several more bonus features, including featurettes, a collection of trailers, and there's even a vintage style grindhouse trailer, which I thought was even more entertaining than the film itself. So there's at least a decent supplement package here. I don't think there's anything previously unreleased. So if you already own the Blu-ray, you've probably seen all these bonus features. Again, I can't speak for that in all sincerity because I never owned the Blu-ray. But it is a nice package. It's an entertaining film that certainly earns its R rating with its violence and concepts. The picture quality is beautiful, and there are a few decent supplements on the Blu-ray copy, so I can certainly give this one a recommendation. Are you a fan of Death Wish? Where would you rank this remake starring Bruce Willis? Do you think this is better or worse than the old films that starred Charles Bronson? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.